Hello beautiful souls, welcome once again to the Nicerai 101 channel. I am Bernice from Nicerai.com and Nicerai.online.etsy.com If you are new here, hi, hey, hello, how are you doing? Um, if you like what I do, kindly consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell button. So whenever I put something here, like a tutorial or something interesting you receive a notification to watch it thank you okay so today we are doing as the name um suggests here nice work humor cup okay so this is the pattern that we are going to use this tutorial was inspired by lane she is belinda in the comments so when you see belinda Payton in the comments she is the one that inspired this um tutorial i should have done it but i was a bit busy with etsy orders so i'm now doing this tutorial and i'm happy to, to do it so i took a time to design this pattern that we can use to do uh, this chemo cap and it will be available on sale on Etsy, but right now you can get it for free in my um, Facebook group. So I'm going to link the, um, I'm going to put the link down in the description so that you you follow it up. They join the group and you can access this pattern and all the other patterns that I've put there if you need it. So it's going the pattern is going to be available for free in the facebook group you just join your request it will, uh, whenever i see the request i'll accept it then you can go ahead into the files um and download it thank you okay so now going on to the work um if you either purchase or download the files for free this is how you are going to put them together to cut it out now it's um four sheets you are going to put them side by side to from one two three and four so you you let it follow that order what you do is you cut off the edge here and the edge here this side and this side and this side and that side so that um you can easily put them together and so you it will be along the outer lines so that you can put them together and um, cut them out on the other hand you can also just fold from the second sheet you fold just along the black lines Sorry. you fold it then you line it up Make sure the two dots are lining up. So they are lining up. Then you can tape them together with a cello tape. So you line them up in that order. So I fold this one in. Then I line this one up here. I repeat with this one. So you have all the four lined up. Then you can go ahead and cut the outlines out. You cut them out. You tape them together. Then you cut them out. For now, I've already cut them out. So, here are they. I have the one. I have two, then three and four. So this is what you are going to use to cut your fabric pieces. So in order to do it quick, I've already cut the fabric pieces. This is the body of the cap remember wherever you see fold there should be a fold at that part so you see there is a fold here 
so the fold goes there when you are cutting make sure that part is folded so i cut this one this is about eight inches by 10 inches because the fabric is a stretchy fabric around the head i made it 10 inches you can make it as big as you want and we um i'll be putting a toggle in it so that it will make it adjustable it can be worn by either kids or adult so i'll put it up oh, the elastic is 17 inches i usually use 17 inches elastic and this is the toggle that i'll be using okay so this is for the body of the chemo cap this this is going to be the brim so that's the pattern too i use it to cut this one and there is going to be two straps so on the pattern there is a fold here you cut two pieces of that so I've not I've noted it here cut two pieces and um, when you stretch it out it's going to be 22 inches what you are going to do after you cut it is you fold the end and you just slightly curve it you do it to the other one too so that it will make a clean strap when you put it on the cap so starting with it i'll just take this to the um serger or sewing machine if you're using a sewing machine use the zigzag stitch so that oh this one since it's going to be a strap straight stitch will do but i suggest you use the zigzag stitch so just in case it stretches then the seam wouldn't break so i usually use serger for all my stretchy fabrics so i'll set all along to the end for this one and seam to this one then i'll turn them inside out that is for the straps then when i finish with it then i'll come in and put it in here make sure when you are putting the body of the um, cap together the it should be right size together so let me finish with the straps then i'll show you what to do next with the body of the cap okay the straps are now ready but now we're going to start with the brim when we finish then we'll go on to the top of the um the body of the cap so this is going to be the brim it's going to be like this around the um the brim of the cup okay so this is what you are going to do you put it right side together this is about let me see one two three four five six six inches by ten inches so what we are going to do is we are going to put this together make sure the way you curved is um is at the same side so we are going to put as we make sure this this two the stitch line are on the same side we are going to put it here on the brim let it be an inch away from the edge let the stitch line um, be towards the bigger part of the fabric so an inch here we put it down like this then take this out of the way then you put the other side on it because we are going to sandwich it in between the two sides of the brim okay so you can hold it with your clips So now that we have it like this, we are going to stitch bed. This is what you are going to do. 
I'll be adding a toggle and the elastic for to make it adjustable. So in order to do that, there must be a hole at this end where the elastic will come through at the back of the cap. So um, we are going to check the middle of this cap. So one, two, three, one, two, three. So uh, sorry, the middle of the brim where the fold line will be. Now the cap, uh, the straps is going to be. The straps are going to be on the outside, and the toggle is going to be on the inside. From the center, when you fold the um, the brim, from there into the inside, you measure one inch. So this is where the straps are. This is the center of the strap. Uh, sorry the brim then one inch so you are going to leave a space here so you stitch from here to that end the center you leave an inch and you stick the two inches remaining so that we can create that space here where we are going to put the elastic um, where we are going to pull the elastic out of I hope you can see the mark so you look at this and remember how to do it so this is the whole three inches this is the center one inch then the remaining two inches so at the end of the day when you fold it the straps will be out then the elastic will be inside when i finish you'll see the outcome so you can use a straight stick this is okay to use a straight stick because it, there is not going to be any straight so you use a straight stick. you stitch to here you leave that one inch then you stitch on top of the um, the straps you have put inside it. So I'm going to stitch. Okay, so the stitch is now done. So we are going to um, fold it like this. So the straps are going to be on the outside and the hole we created is on the inside. So this is what you are going to do to put the elastic in it. So you fold it like this. The straps are at the back. Then you can divide it into two. You check out the center. So if you've been here, if, you, if you've been around my channel, you know how I put the elastic in on the other ones. So you just put it in here at the middle where you marked. Then on the same line. You can let the elastic be as long or short to your desire. So following that seam, we go to the other side. Let me turn it like this. And put the elastic in there. Okay. then hold it down so at the end of the day the excess will come out through this hole the hole we created so that we'll put the toggle on it so now the it is in between here and you take it to the sewing machine this straight stitch is okay for this you stitch on it a couple of time for both of them to make sure that it's secured now after you have stitched on these two you are going to make sure the elastic is to to way to this line then you stitch you carefully stitch so that it you wouldn't stitch on the elastic make sure you feel the elastic inside here it may be one inch away from here or half inch whichever way is comfortable for you just to make sure that there is um, a, a place for, for the elastic to be and it wouldn't come all the way here 
so you stitch all here yeah don't stitch on the straps just by the straps and make sure the elastic is not on the way you stick to the other end where you stitch it down okay so now I stitched the elastic down on this side and on the other side and because this part is a stretchy part I use a zigzag stitch you can make it me three inch or so that it wouldn't be too wide you select that on your sewing machine so I did a zig zigzag all the way from where I I um I stick down the elastic and pass here by the straps all the way to the other side so always remember when you are cutting your fabric you make sure you cut it um, along the stretchy part so if you don't put even elastic then it can um, fit well or if if you if the fabric is not stretchy then you make sure you make it a little bigger than the head circumference then you put elastic so that the person can wear it comfortably and use the elastic to adjust to adjust it so now we are going to put the toggle the toggle on it so as I do always I just this is a little different from the black elastic so but it's okay I just feed it in here then I pull it out then I tie it so that so that it wouldn't remove I'm sorry for the background noise they, <laughs> they, they decided to mow the lawn today okay so sorry for that so when you finish this one will be on the inside and the straps will be on the outside so let's put this one on the side for now and let's work on the main cap what I'm going to do simply is to go to the serger and putting right sides together I'm going to stitch along this you can use a zigzag um, stitch or the serger I prefer the serger okay so oh yeah that is I see okay so I have finished um, serging the side what I'm going to do now I'm, I left this hanging because I'm, I'll be stitching those and when I stitch it, it will take care of it. So you fold it into two and you mark the center. This should be at the part where you want to be the top of the hat. So, <laughs> sorry. So you make sure you have you mark the center and mark the other end now here because of the stitch it, it has been already marked so you mark the this end too you can create tiny notches with the scissors at this part and that part now what we are going to do next is we are going to bring this this part the center Oh, okay the this end to the center like this then we pin it down and we are going to bring the other end also to the center remember we marked it so you take it to the center then you fold the sides on it then you stitch it down after doing it like this, you take it to the sewing machine. You can this one you can use a straight stitch to just stitch across it. I'll use the serger to do this. Now to repeat it, let me repeat so that you know. We mark the center. You hold it. You bring the the side, the stitch line, to the center. You pin it down you bring the other end that you mark to the center
you pin it down you take it to the sewing machine or the sager and you stitch along um, the top okay so this is how it will look like now I left this thing long hanging because uh, uh, you, there is two ways that I use to clean it up is either I tie a knot very close to the end then I'll cut the excess or you feed it through a needle with a big eye then you pass it through here then you can cut the s's you see You can put a glue on it so that it wouldn't come out so on the other side you can tie a knot very close to the end I usually do this one I tie a knot then I cut it so now we have the top of um, this is how it's going to look like something like this okay so we are now going to add our brim to it so this is going to be on the outside and this is going to be on the inside so what we are going to do is we are going to match the um, stitch lines that we used to join we we'll match it up. So okay, this is let's when you are going to do it, you make sure this one the where the straps are goes inside. You set it down, then you put the cap inside it. Stitch line to stitch line. And make sure everything is in place <laughs> then you can stitch it down sorry you can pin it down so you match it up pin it down Because this part stretches, you use a zigzag stitch or the serger. You're going to serge all around it, or you use the zigzag stitch to stitch all around it. Okay, so I finished serging all around it. So I'll tie the end. Excuse me. And I'll cut it. Our Kimo cap, stylish Kimo cap is ready. So the strap is at the back, so the person can tie it to the front, and to the side, or however you you create a bow with it. However you want it, you can create a bow at the back, however you want it. So this is it. Always remember with the pattern. This is the standard side. So. The fold it here you can if you want the cap to be longer you can always increase the the width so you can this is eight inches you can make it nine ten eleven twelve however you want it on the other hand if you want to skip the adding brim 
you can look at how I do the um, Europe style scrap cap then you apply the style that I use to put elastic in it then you only do the top like this and you are done you can choose to add these straps or not and it will all work together for good okay so this is our sister <laughs> Damika trying on the cup and this is, is super gorgeous this would be a perfect gift for a friend this can be worn by anybody not um, not as the name suggests as chemo for so so for can not only cancer patients anybody can wear this this can be worn as a scrap cap and it's beautiful this is going to work great for a christmas gift so you can do this and make a scrunchie you, uh, you give it to a friend and it's going to make a perfect gift it's super beautiful i love this fabric i'm i'm going to put this on sale uh on my etsy shop so um when, whenever it comes up i'll put the link in the description below so whoever wants it you can get it from my etsy shop so shout out to you lynn for inspiring me to do this thank you so much and i really love the out outcome of this with the um toggle adjustable it makes it easy and giftable for people with different head sizes so the pattern is available in my um, Facebook group you join you have access to all the patterns that I've created so far I'm about to add the bouffant also there so join it when you're able to make this join up my Facebook group and share it with us let us know what you are making not this alone all the other cups whichever one you make kindly share it with us on the Facebook group so that others can also be inspired to do something i really appreciate you all kindly like this if you really like the outcome kindly like and share with your friends and also if you have not sub subscribed to the channel consider subscribing to support me grow thank you all for staying around and watching thank you so much lots of love and light to you all have a wonderful day afternoon evening night bye bye <laughs>